Hi, I'm Diya Murli Shankar and I'm a chef from Bangalore and I've travelled all the way to Orissa for the first time and honestly this event has opened my eyes up to all the possibilities of cooking with millets. Now as a chef, I'm always just looking for new food to eat, new new techniques to explore and I saw a lot of that at the competition over here. So we, I think they hosted a fantastic competition where they had people competing from all states of India. And I just, just walking past there, the smells, the sounds, the texture, it was just so fantastic. And to think that all of this is possible, this entire event they've organized, is possible just with the usage of millets is something that really blew my mind. I've really enjoyed my experience here for the past two days in Bhuvaneshwar and I will definitely be back. So, uh, I think it is a fantastic initiative by the government. It has, and I think it is more than just the initiative, I think it has been executed to perfection over here. You should probably come and check it out yourself. It is, I have really, really enjoyed myself over the past two days. And I think the usage of millets is something that we shy away from a lot, but we really shouldn't because what I have tasted over the past few days is something that beyond just doing justice, justice to the original dish, I feel like it completely elevated it. So I would suggest that all chefs try to push this initiative of using millets by in incorporating dishes into their restaurants and educating the consumer a little more. But honestly, lovely, lovely initiative by the government. I tried a Mandya Chena Poda. I tried a Rasgulla, which I did not expect to be that fantastic. I even tried Pani Puri. So I tried, so as a pastry chef, I'm obviously going to go first for the desserts. So I tried a Chena Poda. I tried Rasgulla. I tried, um, this amazing drink called Mandya Torani and chas, huh, fantastic. I even tried Pani Puri, they call it Gup Chup over here and oh my god, it was so fantastic. I never thought of adding ragi to, I never thought that anything millet based could taste this fantastic but it really did. Hi, uh, I'm Pinag, I'm a filmmaker from Delhi and uh, I got to know about this event, uh, I think last, uh, I think two weeks ago and I was finding a reason to come to Odisha just for um, a lot of things. Food is one of the uh, one of them, and uh, I think it's a very great, great initiative by the government uh, to bring in. And it's a international military, so why not? I think this entire event is something which um, kind of blew our mind away. Like the dishes that we ate here, I think amazing. I just had a rasgulla with millet, and I'm like, I, I'm a Punjabi, so for us, paneer or chana, I know like chana is still a little close to paneer. But ragi in a rasgulla is something which is amazing. I had idli, I had dhokla, I had uh, bhalle um, and some local cuisine which I cannot even pronounce. Like amazing stuff, I would recommend everybody. If you get a chance, if not this year, next year, next year, uh, recommend everyone uh, to visit this place. Like if, if not this year, next year when it happens again. Please come, enjoy and try to understand. Like for me, it's a very sad story that once the millet goes east or west to the world, then it comes back to India and becomes a like a, a selling point. But at the same time, if you go to Odisha, if you go to Gujarat, if you go to our local states, we can see that these places, like they've been eating it for the longest time. Yet, we don't accept it, receive it. It's just we kind of take the validation from abroad and then bring it back and say, oh, it's a fancy food. I heard this line that, can we make millets the quinoa of the world? Because I think it has a potential and it deserves more than what it's getting right now. My name is Chef Vivek, I come from Bangalore. In Bangalore, I am a chef of Roxy, which is a very famous restaurant. I work with millets for 10 years and I am very happy when I knew that in Odisha, इंटरनेशनल मिलेट का कन्वेंशन हो रहा है हम इसमें से एक की मेंबर है जिन्होंने ये सारा पूरा क्यूरेट किया हुआ है हमारे कंपनी ने इनके साथ मिलकर ओडिशा मिलेट 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 मिशन के साथ मिलकर पर हमने कैसा मैंने काफी यूरोपियन खाना बनाया मिलेट्स के साथ इंडियन खाना इंडियन फ्लेवर्स के साथ बनाना काफी मेरे लिए थोड़ा पर जैसे जब मैं यहाँ दो दिन से सारा मैंने हर एक फूड स्टॉल का सारा खाना खाया है हर एक शेफ जो यहाँ पे हमने जहाँ क्यूरेट किया हर एक अलग अलग टाइप के चीज़ें टेस्ट करी है और मैं बहुत एक सरप्राइज था ये देखकर कि मिलेट्स के इंडियन खाने में भी इतने अलग टाइप के इस्तेमाल किए जा सकते हैं अब जैसे मैंने वहाँ पर देखा उनका 
जवाहर का उन्होंने कुसकुस बनाया है वहाँ पे मिलेट का खाउस बनाया है वो इंटरनेशनल में है यहाँ पे हमने देखा हमारे जिस पीछे आ, जो ओ के स्टॉल्स है और जो मिलेट मिशन के मिलेट शक्ति मिशन के जो स्टॉल्स है शक्ति मिलेट मिशन के वहाँ से हमने रागी रसगुल्ला खाया वो बहुत प्यारा था रागी छेड़ा पोड़ा बहुत प्यारा था उसके अलावा अलग अलग मिलेट से बनाए हुए पिठास हमने चखे वो बहुत प्यारे थे दालमा के साथ तो लाजवा भी था जैसे हम बर्जोरी इसके यहाँ पर हमने मिलेट ढुकला खाया तो काफ़ी एक्साइटेड हुआ और जब मैं वापस जाऊँगा तो यही सारे डिशेज इंस्पायर होकर और मिलेट बेस्ड इंडियन डिशेज बनाने की कोशिश जरूर करूँगा पवित्र दुर्गा पूजा उपलक्षे बैशाखी प्लाजा तरफ आपण मान हार्दिक हार्दिक अभिनंदन और शुभे बैशाखी प्लाजा आसतु ढेर सारा रिहातीर मजा निशाखी प्लाजार रोसे सरंजाम पातु अप टू थर्टी फाइव परसेंट पर्यटन रिहाती आम बारिपदा बैशाखी प्लाजा स्टोर को आसतु उन्नीस सौ अनशत टे पात एक लिटर सनफ्लावर रिफाइन तेल बिलकुल मगणा एवं तीन हजार नौश अनश टपिंग पात पांच के जी आशीर्वाद अटा बिलकुल मगणारे से हीपरी बेतनटी बैशाखी प्लाजा स्टोर को आसतु पचिश शह टाकि पात दुई के जी चीनी बिलकुल मगणारे पैंतीश टाकिपर पांच के जी तृप्ति अटा बिलकुल मगणारे तेणु और डेरी कहीं यथाशीघ्र आसतु बैशाखी प्लाजार सपिंग करूँ और ढेर सारा आकर्षण रिहातीर मजा नि ठिकना बारिपदा दारगाडे गोले बेतनटी हाट छक